time for the NFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Minnesota. It's the Cowboys and the Vikings, next on Madden Football. It seems like only yesterday we were here for Super Bowl 52 and now back for the road to the Super Bowl here in the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship, a trip to Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Not a bad prize as we are underway in the NFC Championship game. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They are led out by their veteran quarterback hailing from Michigan State and we like that. It's Kirk Cousins. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. The first carry now for Tony Pollard, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? It's at about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And we talked about it last week, the pressure of not just playing in the playoffs and now in the championship game as they try to close out a perfect 19-0 season. Of all the games they've played, though, this year, this is far and away the toughest one. If they find a way to win it, guess what the next one will be? The toughest one they play. That's what happens when you have a perfect record on the line. Second down and six now. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this will be a Vikings first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea 
slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. DeMarvian overshown, the one to bring him down. From the 31, here's second and nine. They'll set up to throw. Oh, his first throw of this playoff matchup is intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Pollard gets it off the option. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Ah, it's been a long season, but he still looks fresh running the football. He knows his guys are one game away from the Super Bowl, so he's going to give it all he's got. And that's a heck of a run right there. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Cousins to throw it. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, Look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 19 yards that time for number 19. A nice throw there. And this is a quarterback, you remember, looking to do what no other rookie has done, and that's lead his team into the Super Bowl. And now you've made me go back down memory lane a little bit because we have had a few guys come close. Think about Patrick Mahomes in 2018. Second year in the league, but his first as a full-time starter. I go back to 2000 with the Vikings and Dante Culpepper. Also his first year as a starter. But this would be something I think would be very noteworthy. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. Struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Cowboys will take over possession here up at the 44. And Brandon, how many times have we talked with these rookies out there and then we finally hear from them that the game slowed down and they're able to handle things? Not so far for this rookie because right now, back-to-back -back drives, they picked him off. Not college football anymore. He's got to find a way to handle what these defenses throw at him. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Cousins on first down. Fires 
as the slam completes its holder. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 35, here's second down and one. To throw is Cousins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Cousins. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. A first down throw for Cousins. Backs it away and it falls down incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Well, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Put by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Vikings force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's taken down and able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now back to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. So his struggle is just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football. Charles now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said, I can't teach you, obviously, because you're not listening. So maybe the bench can teach you. He's got to be careful now. He might get pulled. Following the interception, Cousins got his man there complete to Gallup. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Cousins now. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Cousins. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively, 
that they want to insist on going in that direction, make sure you've got your best people in the area to try to take that. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Moss. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's free going down the left side. have taken the lead here in this NFC Championship game. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. But he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1, running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Extra point splits the uprights. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it as we resume action. This will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Cousins now to throw on first down. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Cousins from the gun on third. And that's complete to Cooks. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the 42-yard line, here's second and four. Play fake, Cousins. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up third and two. Cousins. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A give to Pollard running left. He'll take this to the 46. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Going to run again here with Pollard. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, at that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league and trying to get first downs unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the first two drives only yielded three points. They might be thinking it's time to make something happen. Push the ball downfield and try and gain some points that way. Unfortunately, incomplete. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield, as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. First down, here's Cousins. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Here's Cousins. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now Cousins. Over the middle, complete. That's Ferguson. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. The Cowboys on third down. 9.50%, four for nine. This time they face a third and two. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Now they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. The kick by Gold is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, and we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Moss. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Throw left side complete to Moss. Third catch of this first half for him. And this one is a first down. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and seven. He'll drop to throw. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. They'll drop to throw. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They go play action. Cousins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Throwing his Cousins. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. He'll look to set up his blockers. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 107 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame as he goes over the century mark with the AFC title on the line. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. Puts it on the carpet attack. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And this is where you need the quarterback to morph into being a running back. The ball can't be away from his body. It can't be loose. It can't be held like he's going to throw it. Tuck it away, take care of it, because he's going to run through a lot of traffic. And if he doesn't take care of it, we're going to see less design runs like that. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Cousins now, after the fumble recovery. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Throwing Cousins. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Cousins. That's going to be knocked away and And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Now a handoff running through the middle. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That was a beautiful executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. This is second and eight. They'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. First down throw for Cousins. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. On second down, Cousins again. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. The drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They'll look to throw here. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And taken right at the 35. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try to force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sand. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And the Vikings going to take over here one more time before the half. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. 
And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And able to get this out to the 25. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl, and this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year, and they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 39 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And that's the kind of run you get when you know Super Bowl birth is in sight. They've got the lead. It's the second half. All those weeks of wear and tear in your body just go away. He's running with purpose now. And that's a heck of a run. Right back to him on first down. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They'll look to throw now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Moss. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. They'll set up to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll look to throw. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the left hash, this from 39. And his kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10 6. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Cousins on first down. Incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Cousins throw, take it in there by Cooks. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now we're into 
the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Going back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the four-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Here now, third and a yard. They're going to look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw, and he's got it. Got his man on the end route, complete. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Back to throw again. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Following the interception, Cousins. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. This is fielded at the 27. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. 
And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners <laughs> kind of know. But I guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. Second and six. He finds his man complete. That's Moss. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And he'll run on the inside handoff. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to widen their advantage. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip of what he was doing and setting up blocks and then he would just go? We saw it on that play right there. That one was fun to watch. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. This will come out to the 25 as Lewis is going to opt to not return it. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Cousins. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. The safety, Antoine Winfield, got in there that time. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. They'll set up a throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. For this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. Back to throw here. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. K.J. Osborne, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, something about this team, you just felt like they were one of destiny all season long, and they made themselves today, as you can see, the class of the NFC. Yeah, and it's starting to look more and more like a Super Bowl trip is very much in their future. And the fans starting to book those tickets. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. On the return is Jordan Lewis. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand 
They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On play action, Cousins. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 25-yard line. Back to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. He's had success running the football. This is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. The throw over the middle taken in. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. From the 21, here's second and two. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he's brought down at the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. From three yards out. And the Vikings are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. 
He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the cue being is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll increase their lead to 28. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Play action now, Cousins. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Cousins. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A first down throw for Cousins. That's dumped off to Poe. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's second down. To throw is Cousins. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Now a quick throw into the hands of Jefferson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. From the 33, here's second down in the yard. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Moss. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there. With now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Vikings have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And he returns this to the 22. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And their back's really against the wall now. And we knew how tough it would be for them. You're coming on the road, NFC title game, crazy environment, and certainly just not looking good here in the fourth. Now a throw here to his running back. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 27-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gut. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Cousins on first down. He finds his man, Pollard. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down.
Cousins now. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Loss of ten as multiple defenders get to him. Well, it's an old chestnut, but let's face it, offensively, they've got to have some pride here because this has been a worst-case scenario all game for them. Keep putting in the effort. Keep trying to keep your quarterback upright and get through the end of this one as quickly as possible. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. He'll drop to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess? He didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Back to throw again. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by DeMarvian Overshone. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. Following the interception, Cousins. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. On second down, Cousins again. Pass complete. He's got him or shot. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for the Rams. Now throw it on third down there, but he cannot connect. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. Gee, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. 
And you can bet that they are starting to sense it now, that George Hallis Trophy nearly theirs. Their spot as NFC champions oh so close as they try to finish this one off. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But now he appears to be in some pain. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Vikings on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. They're going to look to throw. That is caught. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and I'm going to tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. On second down, here's McBride. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield. And down to the 43. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. On the give, here's McBride. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And now a run with McBride. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Here's McBride. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. A run here with McBride. Fighting through. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know we're there in wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Extra point splits the uprights. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Minnesota's kick team ready and the Vikings boom it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score 
Might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Here's Cousins. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, Cousins. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Here now second and nine from the 39-yard line. On second down, here's Mitchell. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. And the Vikings are going to the Super Bowl as we sign off here and say good night, everybody. for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.